hi welcome back to another reading happy friday again so this is going to be some more general messages i was trying to do like a pre-pull but i feel like that message is like kind of messy and i'm not even about to talk about that but basically the high priestess came out in reverse and the, the vibes it was given it's like a a person that um that could be showing up as a high priest like they look like the high priestess in the upright but really they're the high priestess in reverse like their intuition is blocked but it's like they probably done set up shop it's like you know they could um have like a youtube channel or basically do readings but they are actually the high priestess in reverse so i don't know who needed to hear that but yeah um that's what was showing up give me some more insight here and for some people you your intuition could be blocked at this time for whatever reason and it's almost like it has you in your head or you could be um having some type of fears or you could be worried that your intuition is blocked or something of that sort not really sure what that's about but let me see what comes out what does the collector need to hear right now give me some give me a juicy message okay on this friday <laughs> okay we got the emperor showing up we got the ace of cups coming out here too um for some people there could be an emperor in your energy whoever this is they are like very like they about their business okay but it looks like um there could be a new beginning in love with the emperor type of energy that uh, the upgrades been showing up a lot too yes for some people you're about to upgrade when it comes towards a new partnership that's what it looks like something in regards to like making calls could be significant too but this um this figure actually looks like this emperor is like looking for possibly a new partner but it's somebody that could be like very business savvy like somebody who know how to make phone calls or whatever like that's the energy is given so you could have somebody coming towards you this could be somebody that you met in a workspace or whatever the case is that's what it looks like. But it looks like here with this two of wands, it looks like you're about to move forward in a new partnership. But this is not giving um, like the emperor just looking for like anybody. It's like somebody who can probably like help them when it comes towards like business or whatever it is that they got going on. That's what it looks like. Give me some more insight on this energy for the collective. What else are they needing to hear? Somebody could be going to Africa too. Look, we got the Wheel of Fortune card coming out. So expect some changes, y'all. But the Wheel of Fortune card coming out, you could be seeing fives. I think I mentioned it in a previous read. You should, y'all should see that one before this one. Cause I'm waiting for it to upload now. But there's gonna be some positive changes when it comes towards even like partnerships or um this could even be like traveling. That's what it looks like. Let me see. What else are they needing to hear? Even business. Give me some insight on the Wheel of Fortune for the collective, please. You could be waiting for this change, too. Give me some insight on this Wheel of Fortune for the collective. So this um, male fire sign keeps showing up. Aries could be significant because we got the Emperor card already out. But a King of Wands, Aries, like a masculine, um, a masculine Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Somebody with fire in their chart. Let me see what else comes out. Give me some insight on this Wheel of Fortune card for the collective. What else are they need to hear for the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, so y'all, we got two counterparts showing up. We got the Empress and the Emperor showing up. I see a new beginning. It looks like you could be about to start over with your emperor or your empress or how you resonate with it. Um, basically, it's divine feminine, divine masculine energies. That's what it looks like. So you're going to be seeing some positive changes, y'all. Let me see what else comes out here. What else are they needing to hear? Something about like head wraps or crowns could be very significant too. like even natural hair like afros because it's kind of giving like that whole aesthetic of like afro i don't know like i, I don't even know the correct term but like afro beauty 
Afrocentric. For some people, you can have that type of aesthetic or that's how you dress. But it's giving like big afros, like natural hair. Like you basically rocking your natural crown. And look, I don't know who need to hear this, but um, I had came across a video recently where um, basically they exposing how they um, make wigs, y'all. Like the ones that come from China. Um, like the bundles or like them lace front wigs. Like basically that stuff comes from, um, they make, they get the hair from like dead people. So basically they're like cursing African-American women. Cause they, I even saw a video and y'all can look it up. It, it was like on YouTube. Um, that's mainly like what I be watching, like YouTube videos or whatever. But yeah, like them she in wigs, they get it from dead people. But also, um, I was seeing where basically it's like that hair is some um like the Indian women to release their karma they cut their hair off right so it's like basically they get that hair which has like karma their karma attached to it like bad energy attached to it and black women are wearing that hair that is super scary and i ain't wore a wig because i mean i don't wear wigs before but i mean not all my life um because you know how you want to switch some things up or whatever ain't nothing wrong with wearing a wig but it's like if you look at the history behind it it's like dang that's crazy it's like basically they cursing and they know exactly what they doing so it's like that's crazy it's like that shows like their hatred for black women but we don't wear them before but um yeah for some people you could be wanting to look into that that's if you wear wigs or whatever but it's like to think that you're actually wearing somebody's karma is crazy and they knew and they sold it to you for like because them wigs ain't cheap people be spending a lot of money and people have made a lot of money from selling wigs like another person's hair give me some insight here for the collective what's tell me more about this energy that showed up for them ace of swords coming out here y'all i see a new start something about like a new idea could be significant too but this is definitely giving and like um i hate to keep mentioning this because i know it's like all races that watch this y'all but it's giving like african queen vibes i don't know what i don't know how to describe it but it's just like big hair it's like um yeah like you wearing a crown it's giving like queen vibes goddess vibes that's what it's giving it's giving like goddess vibes so it's like however you picture yourself as like a goddess but it's almost like very dramatic almost like a woman just like walking around like literally as like a goddess so it's like this this is like your whole existence or this is something new to where it's like you're gonna be showing up it's like every day you look like a goddess basically it's giving that type of energy that's what it seems like give me some more insight on this what else are they need to hear tell me more about this energy that came out for the collective We got the Six of Swords coming out. And we got this Ten of Swords showing up here too. It's like things are about to get a lot easier, y'all. If you've been dealing with, um, like let's just say you've been dealing with a lot of stress, there's going to be a sense of relief. And <laughs> you know what I just got though? Um, for some people, you could be dealing with headaches because when I said like a sense of release, release or, I mean relief, or you could be, you could be kind of stressed out, but something in regards to like pain reliever pills, like, you know how you take an ibuprofen if you got a headache or Advil or something, um, it's like that type of relief. So something about that could be significant too. Cause that's what it felt like. Cause it was like, I started, rem like I started, um, thinking about pain reliever pills. So it could be like ibuprofen or something of that sort, but it's like, if you got a headache, that's what it seemed like. But yeah, something's coming to an end. It's like you're about to get, it's almost like taking the um, the biggest Advil ever or like, you know, um, when you feel like you need to take some type of like pain reliever pill because it's like you need a relief. Give me some more insight for the collective. What else are they needing to know? What else are they needing to hear? 
What else do I need? It's a here. So we got a King of Pentacles showing up. Um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy could be significant with this King of Pentacles showing up, but it kind of looks like here, um, anything surrounding business or new ideas, y'all, is going to be very successful. Now, for some people, you could already have this information, like you could already know about it, and this could be confirmation, but it looks like this is something new. So you could be starting a new business. I see like a new partnership, a new business partnership. It could be like in a romantic sense too, but it looks like it's going to be very successful. That's what it looks like. So you could be learning something new. Give me some more insight. We got a lot of court cards showing up. Give me some more insight for the collective. Oh, something about the movie coming to America could be significant too, y'all. Because I just started um, thinking about... <laughs> Like, I started thinking about or getting, like, this visual of Eddie Murphy, like, when he played in Coming to America. Like, how he had showed up as a prince. Something about that could be significant. Because it's like he, the prince, yeah, it's like the emperor, y'all, is looking for um his wife. But the way that movie, it like, not that type of, um, I don't think he, they, I mean, it could be something significant, like with the masculine energy, it's like the type of things that he had to go through. I feel like, um, and you know what though? Cause it's like, because he had came over to America, right? He ended up getting a job at the, um, McDowell's or something. So it's almost like he had to humble himself or like ground himself. Something about that could be significant. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like the emperor is like, so for some people, this emperor energy is coming towards the empress, but something in regards to now this person could be from like another country. The person could be from another country. They could be from another city or state, but it's like they're coming to where the empress is. And then I started getting them visuals because when I was talking about like the whole Afrocentric or like African beauty, the scene where the, um, like even how his mom was um, portrayed in the movie, is she like a whole goddess, right? Like an African queen. It's like, this the energy that I'm seeing. So yeah. Or whatever your nationality is, but specifically I am getting that. It's like, um, the African culture could be um, very significant with this energy. But yeah, it's for some people, you could have like a, um, for some people, you could be planning um, an African themed wedding too. But like that whole aesthetic of like the big um, headbands or like big head wraps, something about that is significant too. But um, that's what I'm seeing here in this reading, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and go. But thank y'all very, very much for watching.